So, really, certainly the star of the show so far from a commercial sense. Joining me is David Bax. He's from Jefferies. He's head of global aviation. Uh, let's talk about uh, the Dreamliner itself. Long time coming, David. It is here. We can't see it from here, but it's way just over there. Now, what do you make of it? And, you know, it's going to obviously be a game changer. And they, the Airbus companies trying desperately to catch up and hoping that the A350 is not late. Well, it is a game changer, and it's been a game changer for some time. With over 860 orders, which is without question the most successful airplane program in the history of aviation, and in, in, in certainly in Jeffrey's view. That is, uh, that's a number to put in perspective. 767 just recently caught up to. It's a, it's a airplane that's fuel efficient, targeted at a very different market than Airbus is certainly, uh, certainly aircraft. And it's, it's one that's receiving tremendous attention, which nice to see this year in, in Farnborough, which we were sorely missing in Paris last year. Now, it's changed. I mean, four or five months ago, I mean, talking to Jim Elmbaugh, we'll be talking to him again, chief executive there of Boeing Commercial, saying four or five months ago, he can believe how the whole market has changed and it's going in the direction of these plane makers. Well, versus Paris, where we were at the trough. We were crying. We, we were, <laughs> I don't know if we were crying, but we were certainly at the trough. We're now in recovery. I mean, things are dramatically different. Passenger traffic is up over 11%, 11.7% in May, year to year. That is after a volcanic disruption in April. So let's say over, up, traffic up over 7% so far this year. And you've got airline capacity utilization or load factor approaching 80%. To put that in perspective, over the last 30 years, load factors average about 70%. So airlines are quickly bringing on capacity. And to bring on capacity, they can't do it from taking tails out of the desert with oil hovering close to $80 a barrel. So what they're doing is taking new deliveries and giving CEO guys like Jim confidence that new deliveries will be taken and cancellations will stop. For, just for example, we've seen twice the number of orders this year first half of this year versus last year, and on a net basis, net of cancelization, four times the number of orders as last year. Okay, again, it's the Middle Eastern carriers. We've heard about Emirates, possible list price, of course, around about $5 billion order for 777. Saudi Arabian with also around about $3 billion order there as well. So it's that part of the world, again, which is driving the demand. It's that, it's that part of the world that's driving the demand, and Emirates by the way, is also widely rumored to potentially be announcing an A3 or A380 order at this show, which is astonishing considering We've they have 90 on order. Possibly 11 billion for another 30 of these planes here, which is what we're talking about, yeah. Yeah, which is, it, it's an astonishing number. That area of the world does actually offer a different business model for the airlines. The problem with the traditional carriers is you're stuck through Heathrow and Singapore to take people from the Pacific, you know, back towards the States. Operating out of the Middle East gives a different cost structure, and the airlines that are doing it are doing phenomenally well. Emirates, Qatar, I think you'll, you'll see orders from. Qatar, the other big story we haven't talked about, obviously, is the C-Series, which we're expecting. That's the, the other big news of the show. This is going to be the, the big thing, isn't it? We, it's not here, but they've been talking about it. It's been on the drawing board for a long time, and it cannibalizes the, the duopoly, doesn't it, that Boeing and Airbus have in single aisle. The 140 to 149-seat market is not the entire 737 and A320 market, but it's projected to be 7,000 aircraft, which does strike right at the gut of Boeing and Airbus's, let's say, cash cow, which is 737 and A320. Uh, there's only 90 airplanes on order. We're expecting to hear about 100 orders at this air show, or Jeffries expects about 100 orders. And that's a game changer in terms of launching a new aircraft that's cost competitive, com composite technology, fuel efficient, and will drive a lot of the decision regarding whether you re-engine 787, seven, sorry, 737 and A320. David, that's all the time we've got time for. Thank you so much.